Hi guys, this is the second part of 4G and 5G basic. So, what is band? First point is what is band? Yeah. So, before understanding the band, we should understand the frequency range for the mobile gaming basic. So, mobile communications be using 450 megahertz to 39 gigahertz so it's a range below this we cannot use yeah we have the range so yeah, 450 megahertz to 39 gigahertz gigahertz so we divided again yeah and this part the small part is called band and giving its have the range from a starting to ending but this yeah this total we give one name like uh, 2100 it's approx uh, approx to 2100 so giving name 2100 because it's a uh, uh, name that we can remember easily that's why giving this but we have the range so yeah this we can see here it's a band 2100 have a downlink range and uplink range here using fdd so we have uh, downlink frequency is different uplink frequency is different so have the downlink band and uplink band two band but giving the band name is only 2100 so giving so we can see here 2110 to 2117 it's a downlink range but giving name and uplink range is here so we can see and go to on uh, google and can search band and frequency so we can easily but why is that you can show here it's uh, 2100 band and it's uh, 1700 band 4 so band 4 1700 giving the name 1700 but if we go and see on the downlink range so see here is starting from the uh, 2110 2110 both is starting from the same range so it's a uh, not this country like uh, this uh, is saying that oh i am using different type of pattern for the band so it's uh, he, he this is divide uh, Defined from the other organization, this defined from the other other organization. But if you can understand, uh, if if you are using seventeen hundred band in your country and in your location, uh, the, where where we can't use a uh, twenty one hundred because it's have the different uh, yeah um, mechanism to dividing your FC and and many things. So I will explain. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah. But uh, we cannot use same location uh, both band because we have the range starting range of the same like this starting from him. So using same and same, it's a. Uh, uh, different mechanism so that's why this uh, yeah, uh, yeah defined by many organizations so here uh, like 2100 in india using 2100 this range because i am i am t i am t international mobile telecommunication this i am t mainly using uh, in many uh, country uh, but this is some have uh, band using some uh, specific location like uh, 
some using for uh, Japan using the different uh, types of dividing the band so that using that band only in Japan so it's uh, very difficult to uh, understand and uh, yeah, this country using uh, the same location uh, same band and it's uh, getting mixing mix up so all decided uh, so we should uh, keep one identity so identify uniquely so giving one unique identification is what yeah urfcn urfcn is a unique uh, in all over the world so yeah if it's a uniquely defined so no so uh, we have the formula of uh, yeah and first of all uh, how can we decide it urfcn so giving uh, urfcn uh, like uh, yeah so dividing mechanism one type of mechanism here to here uh, in a band in a band in band we are using a uh, bandwidth so if we using 5 megahertz 10 megahertz and 15 20 it's a yeah, different type of if we using here to here so giving one a specific urfc so and uh, 0 to 15 giving one urfc in a specific urfc for totals so you have seen it's uniquely identify if you know the urfcn then you can identify you can understand what there is carrier frequency is using and what band here if you know the urfcn you can understand uplink downlink carrier frequency uh, by so here uh, you can see have the uh, urfcn range like this 21 uh, 2100 band have the yeah, range urfcn range is 0 to uh, 599 so it's uh, defined it's uh, uniquely if you using this mechanism then this urfcn you have to decide it and other so it's uh, globally identified by uh, urfc by urfcn we can identify band which band is using which carrier frequency is using so we can identify each and with the help of this it's a uh, fd low low fd low this frequency uh, lower frequency of the band that means uh, using the range for the uh, 2100 each uh, lower 2110 to maximum so we use low and uh, yeah, offset zero is the lower urfc and using this formula we can get the uh, downlink frequency so we can when we uh, sing uh, on yeah, analyzer tool qxdm and uh, yeah nemo analyzer and DD discovery so we can uh, easily show there yeah it's a downlink frequency uplink frequency uh, so, but how can we calculate it? this formula we can calculate by using urfcn lower band frequency and uh, lower yeah urfc uh, in in offset da it's a uh, low urfcn of this uh, band range so we can hear ndl is the downlink urfcn uplink is the uh, NUL is the uplink urfcn so we can calculate easily uh, yeah carrier frequency it's a carrier frequency what is the carrier carrier frequency so it's a uh, in a band in a band in a band if uh, 2100 band have 
uh, range 21 110 to yeah it's uh, 20 110 to it's uh, 2170 okay so here yeah, 2110 to it's a uh, capping is 2110 2110 to 2170 is a 6th. So total band is between 2100. It's a space is 20. Sorry, 60 uh, megahertz. So 60 megahertz. So we divide it 60 mega. If we using uh, one operator. On the 5 megahertz, then one operator. If we using one place is at one location, it's a uh, one uh, bandwidth using of uh, 2100 band. So one operator like a year day. If coming geo like this on a okay, so he using 20 megahertz. So 20 megahertz and giving URFC and calculating on the basis of uh, yeah, formula so according to lower and higher it's a uh, so it's a uh, 20 meg 20 20 25 again 20 other operator using so 20 20 20 40 and 5 and other is using 50 megahertz total is 60 so and next uh, one operator two operator three four and other operator wants to come on like this for example in India so bandage LX so bandage not available for other operator so he will not come on this band so he purchased on different bands that's why you can uh, see on a different operator have the different band have uh, yeah a 4G technology but have the different band yeah uh, it's a region so and this space using it, it's called bandwidth it's a bandwidth bandwidth and this bandwidth have the deciding point this point frequency to this frequency is called carrier frequency and this is called carrier this is called carrier this is called carrier i think uh, your all topic is covered so you can yeah watch uh, this video and i come with another topic also so if you can understand here um, carrier that that means you can also understand the carrier aggregation nowadays you are listening carrier aggregation what is carrier if you understand the carrier that means you can understand um, carrier aggregation like uh, if you are using 2100 carrier one here it's one carrier from one frequency range here to here it's a one carrier and if we using other carrier like our 1800 and using uh, here using 20 megahertz bandwidth and here using uh, L atas, uh, L atas, uh, 15 15 so if we adding carrier aggregation that means uh, when one band is coming on 5 megahertz and second uh, sorry one is 20 and second it coming is 50 and both is adding so we can get 35 megahertz but here is coming from the 2100 and this is coming from 1800 so we can add in this is called carrier aggregation so aggregation means adding thank you guys we will meet again with other topics thank you